Aloha, we're in Honolulu. Mainly to celebrate somebody's birthday, somebody's 20th birthday times two. This is our first time traveling, first time back on a plane since our last trip to Hawaii. Because Hawaii is our happy place. Yeah, and we're here to have a lot of fun. And the thing is, being from LA, we have a ton of really good food, but mm -hmm. there's some things that we can only get here. It just doesn't hit the same when you eat it. Yes, and we are going to eat all the Hawaiian food here in this trip. There's a lot of great places that you will find here that will have lots of lines because it's very popular with the tourists like ourselves but we will also give you the alternative that have no line yeah that's the thing about us like we don't really like waiting in a ton of lines and just trying to find some hidden gems so our goal is to eat all the food and maximize our time yes here's our adventures the Masubi Cafe in Waikiki has a long line most of the day and it's located at the Pacific Monarch Hotel. The alternative is the Masubi and Bento takeout location at Seaside Ave. Show us the goods, what did we get? We got an egg cucumber spam, a green shisho herb spam, kimchi spam, and a spicy cod roll and salmon rice ball. It looks very simple, but trust me, it's the best. This one is my go-to. We came here when they opened and there was already a really long line. Yeah. They opened at 7 a.m. Yeah, that took us about 20 minutes. Best breakfast. I know, kimchi and spam for breakfast. Like, how can you beat that? Mmm, perfectly balanced breakfast. And we got this really cute echo bag. It's insulated and there is a masubi recipe on there. <laughs> you can expect long lines at the main Leonard shop. If you don't want to wait in a long line, you can visit one of the four different Malasada mobiles around the island. Alright, let's try the Li Hing because I've never had that one and we've had the custard one before. We usually order the same ones, always the original one or the cinnamon one. Yeah. So it's Today's the day to be adventurous. It has like little speckles of Li Hing on top. Let's try it. Oh. It's like subtle. It is. I thought it was going to be like... Disgusting. But it's actually really good. And I love Li Hing plum. So this is really interesting. Is it worth it? No, I would still get the regular ones, but this is fun to try. Yeah. One thing, because we're from LA and we did do a video on donuts and also included malasadas, but like there's something very special about the ones here. They're always like warm and fluffy and they're like perfect custard. Very meaty and juicy. It's so warm. This one's good. It's not like super sweet at all. Mm -hmm. We passed by the closest location to Waikiki and the line was wrapped around the building. So we were like, nope, we're not doing that. We just drove a little bit further towards Diamond Head and we came to this truck. But this truck, they only have six flavors and I think they have more flavors at the Leonard's one and near Waikiki. So that's probably why a lot of people go to that one. I love these. We're gonna have to come back. So in this parking lot, there's Giovanni's truck. That's where most people come here for. And, and look, look at, at that, that line. Look at that sign too. The, line, the sign is says full. The line is right there. And we just avoided that because I, that's at least an hour wait and there's no parking there. On a Friday. <laughs> Let's get a garlic butter shrimp and a spicy shrimp to share. That sounds like an awesome plan. You can smell the aroma of the garlic. And no lines compared to Giovanni's. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't order this one last time. We need less flies. Mm. This is good. It's not too spicy. It smells like really spicy, but it's not. It's really good. So before we went to Dodger Stadium and got this short rib plate, and it was like the worst thing we ever ate. It was like so expensive. It was twenty dollars. Oh no, twenty dollars. So now we're gonna try to make up for it by having it here. Well, it was so good. No sweetness to it, just savory. <laughs> no nice. sweetness. You need nice the and tender. Yeah, nice and tender. <laughs> yeah. So good. What do you want, Bird? What do you want? Uh, I was expecting it to be 
like Frank's hot sauce, but it's actually, it tastes really local and homemade. And not super spicy, right? Not too spicy, but it's red. <laughs> okay, so we got free parking, right? Because Martin is our magic <laughs> Password. Local. Local, yeah. local pass. What do they call you? Uh, Pamaina. Pamaina. Which yeah. translates just to I guess local, like a local, resident. Uh, yeah, local resident. Okay. Local our, discount. Our tip. <laughs> Get a local. <laughs> Bring a local. Bring a local with you. <laughs> No worries. Can I do the pitaya bowl, small? And then you're always craving these things. Mm-hmm. It's super sweet. What do you give it out of 10? Mm, eight. The Hong Kong style. Uh, yeah, with the boba. First boba of Hawaii. <laughs> the Hong Kong style. It tastes like legit. It smells already, really good. You walk in and it's like so fragrant. I like it. But the boba's a little bit too soft. <laughs> I give it an eight. Yeah. Eight okay. Yeah. Anything else? That's all. Okay. So the twenty one. Yeah. Okay. Got the dan tat. It looks super egg yolky. Yeah. It's very Let's yolky. try it. It's really good. So but eggy. eggy? <laughs> it's quite expensive here. <laughs> twenty one dollars for this. <laughs> for these two items. These shrimp dumplings are huge. <laughs> Holy moly. Expensive shrimp dumpling. Oh. No utensils. Worth it? It's not worth it because <laughs> I mean it's okay. You're putting your priorities in the wrong place. We haven't had coffee yet today. Huh. <laughs> Add the honey lavender. No milk. Rise and grind. <laughs> This is the large size, guys. <laughs> large size. <laughs> Dog for scale. This is good. Mm. Ooh, appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. We got the Hawaii's version of hand pulled noodles, aka bang bang noodles. <laughs> oh, that's good. Ooh, and we got the duck today. Comes with some choice some vegetables. Try it. Ooh. Oh, just like baby noodles. And they are pulling it like on the spot too. $17. It's good if you like it more cooked, but if you like your noodles more al dente. al dente like her. I think you'll still enjoy it because the flavors are really good, but it, it is really good because I like the spice in it, the cumin flavor mm. and all that. Ooh. Wow, it's so, oh, it just splashed Water. in my eye. Mm, you're right. Recommended or not recommended? I recommend it, it's good. I think it's one of the more tastier things here. Mm, the meat is good. Yeah, we walked through this entire place. I feel like this is the one that stood mm. out to us. In this food market has lots of different things for everyone. There's like farmer's market stuff, there's food, there's clothing. Coffee and drinks. Yeah, pastries, a little bit of everything. It's like two parking lots full. Very, very popular. Saturdays. Matsumoto's shave ice on the North Shore almost always has a long line. 
We did go in January of 2020 when it wasn't as long of a line and it wasn't as crowded. Our favorite alternative is Uncle Clay's House of Pure Aloha. Guava and lily koi. Add condensed milk and homemade mochi. And can, can we add mangoes? If you don't want to wait in line for Matsumoto in North Shore, I suggest you come here to Uncle Clay's House of Pure Aloha. Their shave ice is so good and I say this is, if not better than, this is like really, really good alternative to Matsumoto. I think maybe it's better. Yeah, I think we enjoy it more. Yeah. And it's only like a 15 to 20 minute drive from Waikiki. So it's not even that, yeah. that far and it's worth the drive. And it's not far from Diamond Head or Cocoa Head. I got the Lily Koi and Guava flavor. Ooh, tastes really good. You know, shave ice in LA just does not compare. So good. The mango's perfect. Yeah. It's like the most delicious mango. Yeah. Medium size, $6. During 2022, they're not doing indoor dining, but they do have like a seating area if you walk down the plaza. Or you can do what we're doing and just eat in the car. Mm-hmm. Yep. 10 out of 10. Maguro Brothers, which has two locations in Honolulu, is popular for poke and donburi. The lines can be pretty long sometimes, and this one took us about 30 minutes to get through. And luckily, it was right around the corner from our hotel. Ooh, smells really good. Yeah, all the reviews say that the knife skills and the cutting is excellent, and they look perfect. Let's try this tuna right here. It looks, it looks so perfect, right? It's interesting, it has like kind of an airy taste to it too. We're making an effort not to call any type of fish fresh because technically it's not fresh, but it just has a very well-prepared taste to it. That's what we'll say. All of this is so good. Like it's not fishy at all. And it has like a slight, slight sweetness to it. Like a natural sweetness to it. I like this a lot. This is 10 out of 10 for sure. But I feel like Magura Spot is pretty similar. The one that has like less lines and it's open more hours. This one's only open at 5 p.m. Hi. Hello. Can I get a medium house? Of course. Yeah. What kind of fish would you like in there? Um, salmon, please. Salmon. Yeah. White rice, brown rice. White rice. Oh, sushi rice. Sorry. Can I get the same without the asparagus? Oh, okay. Back here at the beach. With our maguro spot, hokey. We got the same thing, the salmon. We really like this place because there's like almost no lines most of the time. You can order ahead and it's cheap. For two of us, it's $22. Mm -hmm. It just tastes really good here. Mm. You need like 10 of these. The sushi rice makes it like extra special because like sushi rice is so good with it. Not all places use sushi rice for poke bowls. They, some majority of the places they use regular rice, yeah, regular right? Rice. Yeah, that's what, also another reason we love this spot. And yeah. it's walking distance from our hotel. Yeah, go here. First time back at Ice Monster in two years. It's been a long time, but we're reunited. Just as good. Super mangoey. Our favorite one is the mango, but they have like six flavors. What I like about it is this, the shave ice is mango flavor. It's super high quality also. Mangoes here in Hawaii just taste better. Knock on wood, but I don't think we've ever had bad mango here. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. A thousand out of 10. <laughs> How's it feel? Finally going to a buffet. It feels so good. This is so good. All you can, all all you can, can eat pokies. And a drink to celebrate. Powder's okay. If you ask me what I did for my birthday, I'm just gonna tell you I had all you can eat poke. That's do, it. That's do you, all I was needed today. So do you recommend this hundred sales? Yes. 
it's a little bit pricey, but it's so good. Especially because, like, where can you get all you can eat poke? All the food was good quality. Yeah. And it's all you can eat crab legs. Yeah, yeah. She's allergic, so we didn't have any. But I'm not too crazy about that. Yet. I feel like I hate my weight in poke. Today. The pokey was really good. They have pan rolls. They have prime rib. All the good stuff. Yeah. But like this is totally experience that we wanted because this is something that we for sure can't get in LA. We can't, we can't get a buffet like this, and we can't get pokey. That's all you can eat. Yeah. <laughs> I just have one rule, which is no birthday song. <laughs> Blow out your candle. Three candles, Three candles to are. represent long life and something and something. So, Clippers Championship, long life, and I don't know, maybe a new bag for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Done. Yay, happy birthday. <laughs> Can we get one ice cold brew? Hey, that goes in my outfit. <laughs> That's probably what she's thinking. <laughs> I hate seeing outfit. <laughs> How is it? Mm. Decent. It's not bad. Okay. Vietnamese iced coffee. And we got a blueberry scone, and Peter got a co-brew, as usual. Um, this place is pretty cute, but the line was really long. Yeah, it took us like 25 minutes. Mm, this blueberry scone is not too dry. It's really good. This looks so bomb. Holy moly. What'd you get? I got the mixed plate. It comes with kalbi, chicken, and fish. Oh. Peter got the loco moco with sunny side up eggs. Oh my god. The total for these two was $22.46. Oh. Let's try the mac salad. I love mac salad. Mmm. The fried fish is really good. Can't go wrong for the mixed plate. You got a little bit of everything. It's like the perfect late night food. This is so good though. And it's very satisfying. Yeah, so I give this a 10 because of the, the price, the experience and everything. We came out in like two minutes. I give this mixed plate a 10 as well because that chicken steak is so seasoned, lots of flavor. You get so much food for what you pay for here. So our takeaways are that one, you have to have some Hawaiian pokey, you have to have a lunch plate, and also you need to have some shaved ice. Yeah, those are the main ones. But really when we come here, we just end up eating a ton of masubi yes. and pokey, of course. Yes. And I think the greatest thing ever was that there's all-you-can-eat pokey here. Like, where <laughs> else in the world can you get that? Let us know. Comment yeah. down below if you know of any other place outside of Hawaii that you can get all-you-can-eat pokey, because that's the best. Yep. There's so many more other options that we didn't show here, so... We're just gonna have to come back. Yeah. Love you, Hawaii. <laughs> but until then, keep checking us out and we have more Hawaii stuff coming up. Hope you enjoyed this vlog of ours and we hope you stop drooling soon from all the food. <laughs> See you next time, bye.